It starts with our implicit biases to try and understand our unconscious biases, the stereotypes that we have of people, and that leading to microaggressions, leading to acts of biases, leading to systemic um, racism, um, the criminal system. Um, and ultimately at the peak of that pyramid, after you have acts of violence, like murder and rape is genocide. When an, a, an asylum seeker goes to court with an immigration attorney, they have a 30% chance nationally of obtaining asylum. When you add a forensic medical evaluation that are done at a handful of these human rights clinics that are student run across the country, that number goes up to about 85%, maybe 90%. And at our clinic so far, we've had a 100% asylum grant rate for adjudicated cases. And when a patient called me a terrorist and no one said anything, it was, it was kind of that moment, okay, I, I just finished preaching to the choir about what it means to stand up in the moment. And you realize that, you know, we're, it happens to all of us. We're silent because we don't we don't think bigotry is acceptable. We're silent because it makes us uncomfortable.